Well, the new exhibition aims to shine a light on the role of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health workers compiled over six months. The project features 30 portraits of health workers from across the country. These are the faces of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health. 30 striking portraits with one thing in common. It, there's just something in their, you know, something in their eyes and something in their face that I just really, I couldn't wait to photograph them if they would allow me. Photographer Renee Kilmister spent six months capturing the images in communities across the country. Displayed together for the first time at a national health conference, the faces tell a powerful story of pain and perseverance. It's the first thing I, I noticed when I come in the room, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, but every single photo we look at, we see the pain in our eyes. Um, that's no different to all of our people right across the country. Um, we can put on a brave face and we can smile and laugh and be happy. But when you look deep into the eyes of our own Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander First Nations people, we see a real darkness and pain of our past. But amidst the pain, there's also hope. Dorothy Budat Munangur is a health worker featured in the exhibition. The 20 year old has seen her elders dying too young and is determined to make a change. As Indigenous people, with culture and our heritage still needs to go on and we need those, you know, people to still be alive because, you know, some people could be holding thousands and thousands of years of history and knowledge to be able to pass down to the next generation. In her community in Nullanboy, she encourages people to visit the local clinic. I reckon more people come in if they know that other people, you know, are working there, Indigenous or not, someone that they know that they're confident with and that's they encouraging them and from there I think one person it's sort of like um, a domino effect. For 12 years Sarah Marialawu has played a similar role on Elko Island reminding people to have their checkups. Sometimes they didn't want to come, sometimes they get upset or angry with us because it's they get shame and but try and help them as we can. The efforts of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health workers often go unnoticed, but tonight they've gathered here in Brisbane to enjoy some well-deserved recognition. Mary Oway is a senior health practitioner in the remote uh, community of Galawiku in East Arnhem Land. Sarah is named individual champion, while Dorothy takes home the Young Warrior Award. Their stories will now be displayed in the nation's capital as the photographic exhibition moves to Canberra. So people in Canberra can see us how well we do in our community to help Yolngo or indigenous people in our community.